So last week I did a first impression of a fragrance that I got from a niche house. Um, you've seen him on my lives before most likely and that is George Zaharoff, the owner of the niche house Zaharoff. And so he just released a follow-up summer flanker or a follow-up summer release to Citrine. Doesn't smell like Citrine, but um, I was doing a first impression of it and I absolutely loved it and it's called Coco Loco. And so today I wanted to go through and instead of just doing a normal full review, uh, George decided that he was going to send me a full bottle of Citrine. And so today I'm going to do not only my full review of Coca Loco, but I'm also going to give you guys a full review of Citrine, which I've also smelled before, but I didn't remember what it smelled like until yesterday. But today we're going to be doing a full review of Coca Loco and Citrine, letting you guys know which one is the better pickup. A little bit of the information of the next release. Uh, there, right now, Coca Loco is sold out, but I'll let you guys know all that too. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, my great smelling dudes, welcome back to my channel. You guys all know I'm Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. If you don't, make sure to subscribe. Everybody else, like, follow, comment, hit the bell, everything like that. And then if you could, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, blah, 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 blah. Let's get into this fragrance video. Again, courtesy of George Zahara for sending me, and thank you so much, George, if you're watching, Bottle of Citrine. I really enjoy the fragrance. I reached out to him to ask him about Coca Loco. It's sold out, um, and I was asking him, I heard there was a second batch coming out, and I was asking him when. I said I wanted to do a, a review of this in Citrine. I'm going to be picking up Citrine, but I heard that was selling out soon, so I was asking if he had a plan to bring that back, and he just said, hey, I'm going to send that to you. So he sent me Citrine, and now we can do a full review of the Coca Loco, which I reviewed last week, a uh, fantastic fragrance, which I'll tell you more on. I will also tell you a little bit about Citrine, which I've never reviewed on my channel outside of a live stream. So today we're going to be talking about both of those, letting you guys know what the longevity, projection, performance, everything is going on, what they smell like, and which one is the better pickup for the summer, since they are both pretty much spring-summer fragrances. So let's talk about Coco Loco. I mean, it is the one that I did my first impression of last week, and might as well get into it first. So... Uh, the way that this works is right now it is a 60 milliliter bottle. Really cool, like a Mardi Gras looking mask. Says Coco Loco, all the different colors. That, and then you also have your choice of cap. Well, not I said this in my last video. I don't know why I didn't correct myself. It's not a choice. It's a randomized cap that you get. They come out in batches. I know a lot of people got yellow. A lot of people got red. Like if you ordered it a week ago. A lot of people got purple if you ordered a week before that. But they have five different cap colors. They are green, blue, red, yellow, and purple. They are also introducing two or three new cap colors soon. I don't know what they are. And apparently there's also going to be a larger size. Don't quote me on that, but apparently there's supposed to be the larger size, like the 100 or 120 milliliter. But so far we have a 60 milliliter. And I think for this style of fragrance, the 60 milliliters is enough because it is more of a situational style fragrance. But again, this is Coca Loco, randomized cap. And I like the yellow I'm from Pittsburgh, so I'm good with it. If you don't like the cap you get, you can buy a cap on his website. Uh, they're 10 bucks, you can buy whatever cap you want. That is where the choice kind of comes in. So, Coca Loco, uh, what do you get in it? When you first spray it on, it is one of the most realistic clementine notes that you'll ever smell. Uh, that kind of orange, uh, but kind of more tart on the tart lemony side, that is kind of what you get with this. It's a nice citrus orange opening, clementine opening, which again is kind of like an orange and lemon mixture in my opinion. Uh, mix that together with a little bit of this pear and pineapple juiciness. It is a super, super juicy opening, which you would think the coconut from Coca Loco would be the main prominent note in the opening of this fragrance. It is not. It's clementine with an undertoning pineapple and pear that you also have the coconut surrounding and underneath the entire scent in the opening 10 minutes. As the fragrance starts to settle, because you have those citrus notes, they are dissipating quicker. They are in the top. They are going to, by the time you get to the base, 
they're pretty much all gone, usually. Uh, the pineapple pear note does stick there. Of, and I say pineapple pear because it literally feels like it's a pineapple and pear mixed together. Very realistic, raw materials, at least from what it feels like, uh, smells like. I'm not feeling it, but it is really nice. It's juicy. It's summer in a bottle. It is playful. It is amazing. Uh, most Zaharoffs, in my opinion, are... Um, they're more of those fragrances that are for the more educated nose. This one is not. This I think he planned that. He wanted to make a more mass appealing, everyday summer fragrance that a lot of people would like, both men and women. To me, this is unisex. And he did a definite, really good job with that. It sold out in like a week. So that should tell you something. It is the most mass appealing fragrance from his line for sure. Um, with that said, as you get 15 to 20 minutes into the fragrance, as that clementine note starts to dissipate, which again, it's amazing. The opening of this fragrance is just spectacular. Um, the pineapple and pear never become too prominent. They stay underneath and the coconut starts to pull up. As that coconut starts to pull up, it doesn't remind me of Lebeau, so don't ask in the comments, it doesn't. It's not the same designer style coconut. George gets raw materials for his fragrances and this coconut does not smell like coconut that you would find in any designer fragrances the coconut just doesn't smell the same <clears throat> so the coconut starts to pull up with that juicy undertone and then you add in this nice warm and spicy cardamom the cardamom is never too prominent but it mixes really nice and very well together uh, with the vanilla and the coconut that start to pull up after about 20 to 30 minutes and then you have this creamy vanilla coconut with a warm undertoning woods that even adds a more creaminess, which feels like a sandalwood. I didn't look it up, but I think it feels like a sandalwood. It's like a warm woods that it might be cedar, but it adds a little bit even more of this warm creaminess. And then you have that cardamom providing this warm, slightly green spice to it. It is really a really nice scent. Um, the opening is still my favorite because it is like literally citrus in a bottle it's like pina colada with the pineapple on the top and a, like a orange on the side but it's really freaking good going into more of this soft and warm woods mixed together with a warm and spicy cardamom and coconut and then you have that vanilla just floating underneath providing this creamy sweetness overall the fragrance is fantastic coca loco um, as far as the performance is concerned, when you first spray it on, it has the performance of an elixir. It is pushing out well above average. You can smell it. It is in your face. It's spreading across the room. As you get closer and that clementine starts to dissipate and you get into that coconut cardamom mixture, the fragrance becomes more of a moderate scent um, at around an hour. At around an hour, it's a moderate personal bubble, three feet, still projecting, but not too heavy. And then this fragrance lasts on me until about four to five hours. That is about the max that I get from it, which I wasn't really expecting much more from it. Um, usually these style of fragrances that are citrus heavy, coconut, you're gonna get around four or five hours on average. This one, if you spray it on clothes, I did get about 10 hours from it when I sprayed it on clothes. So obviously don't make excuses about performance. Just spray it on clothes and you'll be good. This, it's not gonna stain, it's a clearish fluid. I sprayed it on this shirt today and guess what? It's totally fine. Um, but Zahara's Coca Loco, again, it's about, I would say five hours on the far end and then it's about four and a half. Um, and projecting until a skin scent at about three and a half to four hours. Um, but for the most part, it is a really nice, really good projector. It's gonna be one of those fragrances you wanna wear to the beach. And I said situational, it's the beach, the pool, to a barbecue, any summer fun activities, that's the type of uh, situation you wanna wear this in. If you're outside of that situation, I don't see a good time to wear it. It's that style of fragrance. Coconut fragrances usually are, but overall, really good fragrance. One that you need, definitely need to get your nose on. It is probably my second favorite Zaharoff ever, right behind Tabak. It is so good. That is Zaharoff's Coca Loco. And now the next one I wanna talk about is gonna be the one that he just sent me, which I was always looking forward to having a bottle of. I really enjoy the fragrance and what it does. This is by Zaharoff. It is Zaharoff Citrine. 
So again, thank you, George, for sending this to me. Uh, it's, compared to Coca Loco, it is more of a classy bottle, very simplistic. I really like it. Uh, so Citrine, what do you think you're going to get in it? Citrus, obviously. Uh, it is more of an orange style fragrance, orange citrus. Uh, there's mandarin orange. It's more of like a green mandarin. Uh, then there's clementine, I believe, in this as well. There's a lot of different orange notes in it. Um, I believe there's like orange peel and all kinds of stuff. But with that said, I love orange fragrances. The only orange fragrance I ever smelled that I didn't love or like was uh, Aaron Terrence Hughes Dirty Orange or whatever it's called. I, it smelled like a dirty orange. Um, I just didn't like it. So with that said, we're talking about Zahara Citrine. So when you first spray this on, immediately you notice a lot of orange. It is a lot of citrus, a lot of orange, mixed together with almost this undertoning lemony clementine that is underneath it. It just comes off like a lemony clementine, but it's really underneath it. And then you get a lot of musk mixing together. It's a nice white musk. It makes it a little bit warm. Really, really good fragrance, I can tell you. Um, the citrus in this fragrance uh, is mixed together with that musk and that lemony undertone. It's very sharp and uh, citrusy. It's zesty. It's really nice. It's definitely going to play off your skin in the high heat. It's definitely what it's used for. Citrus notes do dissipate quickly, though. In this case, it does the same. And when it does that, it gets into more of this warm woods and ambergris that mixes together and you have a slight patchouli undertone, but it's more of like a warm woods and ambergris. There is a blend of things underneath that I can't really tell if it's like myrrh or something like that. But overall, the, uh, uh, just to not confuse you guys, as the citrus starts to dissipate, you get a little bit of a floral tone in the mid that dissipates just as quick as it gets there. And then that citrus becomes more of an undertone nuance. It stays there for quite a while. As the woods and musk pick up, it's a warm woods. Um, and then you mix that together with this ambergris. And it's actually a really nice uh, transition into the dry down. This fragrance, when I wore it the other day, it was 90 degrees outside. I sprayed it on my skin only, not my clothes. So I don't have the full performance. But with that said... That day, it lasted three and a half hours on me. Um, it just faded off my skin after about an hour. So when I first sprayed it on, it was above average scent. And then about 45 minutes later, it was a personal bubble. And then at about two hours, it was down to a skin scent. And for the remaining like hour and a half, I could still smell it. And then it kind of just faded off my skin. It was very hot that day. I was sweating all that. So I don't know if that's a good interpretation of the performance of Citrine, but I had heard similar things. I'm not a projection and performance stickler. I'm a smell person. I'm not paying somebody. I'm paying for a smell that I'm going to wear and I'm going to smell good. If I want to make the smell last longer, I'm obviously either going to spray more or spray it on my clothes. It's clear fragrance. It's going to be good, not going to stain. And so with Citrine, I'm totally fine with that. And so I did get about three to three and a half hours of the fragrance and on the, on clothes, I know I'll get more. Uh, with that said, I'm happy with it because it is more of a daytime fragrance. It is more of that citrus heavy, high heat fragrance. I even think that it might be really good in like a gloomy day um, because sometimes citrus fragrances like orange especially, I found are really good in gloomy and rainy days. Ones that where there is a good amount of humidity uh, it really feels like it eats through that really nicely. So I'm going to try that out and come back and let you guys know probably in a live stream or something. But overall, Zahara Citrine is a really nice orange citrusy fragrance that is musky at its heart. And um, then you also do have those warm woods. You have a bunch of different orange citrus tones. But for the most part, I'm just going to say Mandarin Orange. It has that green edge to it. A little bit of spice underneath. But for the most part, it is a musky orange getting down to this woods and amber green mixture and a touch of patchouli. That's the fragrance at its core, and I think it's really nice for what it does. Uh, Citrine, for me, is definitely, I'm happy I would have bought it myself, and I'm happy that I got it, so thank you, George. But overall, this one, Coca Loco, it just knocks it out of the park. I think for me, Coca Loco, especially the opening, is about a 9. 
And then going into the dry down is about an eight and a half. I still really like the dry down. It's just the opening is fantastic for me. Citrine, I give about an eight. The performance aside, I would say that it is a really good summer staple that you need to have if you like orange citrus. You need to like orange citrus to like this. I mean, it is orange citrus musk woods. That is what it is at its core. But this one is just tropical bomb. It is fantastic. Both of them are great. But this one to me is just the one that you need to grab. Um, according to George, so as far as the next release of these, um, the rumor was that it was going to be another batch in August. But he told me personally that in response to the email, uh, he said that it was going to be July. End of July is what he's aiming for, releasing the next batch of this with the new caps and I think a larger bottle. I wish I would have asked him that, but I didn't. But with that said, it's supposed to be coming out at the end of July. I'm guessing if he doesn't get it at July, it will be August, but he's aiming for July. And I don't know about Citrine because right now you can still find Citrine. I didn't get an answer as to whether there was going to be another batch of that coming out afterwards, but this was already a second batch, so I'm guessing it will at some point. But thank you guys so much. Let me know if you've tried both of these, which one you like better. Um, and yes, I understand a lot of people out there are performance sticklers. If you're one of them, this one probably wouldn't be for you. Uh, but this one still does perform pretty well. But again, it's still under about five and a half hours. So I would still say sample before you buy. I know Fatboy Fragrance gets these all the time. So definitely sample before you buy. And uh, you have a month and a half, and that one is on pre-order right now, so you can pre-order the back stock. But yeah, if you want to try it out, buy it on Fatboy Fragrance. Um, he has decants, usually going for pretty good prices. But thank you guys so much. I hope this was enjoyable and helpful for you. And again, I'll be back with another video. Thanks so much. Peace out.